this is a Bluetooth controlled smart outlet that I'll be making in this video. First, let me show you a demonstration. The smart outlet turns on and off whatever is plugged into it. I have a hair dryer plugged into it to demonstrate. The other side is just plugged into the wall. I have my laptop connected to the Bluetooth of the smart outlet. Let's send it the on signal. As you can see, it turns on and off. This can also be controlled via your phone. These are the parts you will need for this project. First, you will need the input and output plug, which I found these particular ones at Ace Hardware. Then you'll need the 5 volt AC to DC transformer. I pulled this out of an old cell phone charger and soldered wires to the voltage in and out. You'll need an Arduino. I'm using the Uno. Then a Bluetooth module. This is the HC06. Finally, you'll need the solid state relay. I chose this one specifically due to its high rate rating of up to 40 amps. However, if you do plan to power something this heavy, you will need to mount it to a heatsink. This is a case for the project I printed out on my 3D printer. I printed mine with the spots for the input and output plugs, but this is specific for the plugs I bought. I'll include the files in the description below. As a quick side note, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and test your transformer and make sure that it actually is right at 5 volts. If your Bluetooth module doesn't have wires on it, go ahead and solder four wires on to the voltage in, voltage out, RX, and TX. Now we're going to plug in the RX and TX onto the Arduino Uno. The TX on the Arduino Uno is going to go to the RX on the Bluetooth module, and the RX from the Arduino Uno is going to go to the TX on the Bluetooth module. This is because when the Arduino is transmitting, the Bluetooth module is receiving, and vice versa. You can see that here. The Bluetooth module needs power, so go ahead and connect the voltage in and the ground to the 5 volt and ground, respectively, on the Arduino. I'm using pin 8 on my Arduino to turn on and off the relay, so go ahead and connect a wire from pin 8 to the positive input on the relay. Go ahead and connect a wire from the other ground on your Arduino Uno and connect that over to the negative input on the relay as that just needs to be grounded. Now we need to wire up the power for the Arduino as well as the plugs. The relay will be turning on the hot wire from the wall but the 5 volt transformer will always need power. Just leave this one for now. The black wire is also the hot wire and you'll need an extra wire for the other side of the relay, also the hot wire. The common ground will be connected from one plug to the other the negative plug wire will also be connected from one plug to the other, but it also needs to branch off and go to the neutral on the transformer. So now, let me show you kind of how this connects to the relay. So, first, the output plug will be connected to pin 2 on the relay, and this one will be off or on, depending on what the Arduino tells it to be. The other side, pin 1, will have the transformer positive hot wire connected to it, as well as the input hot wire connected to it. This way the Arduino always receives power as they're both connected to the same post. You can see here, um, pin 1 connects over to the input power plug, like so. So just a quick recap, the ground wire is going to be connected from the input to the output plug, and the negative wire is also going to be connected from the input to the output, but it's also going to be bridged off and connected to the transformer. Now the positive on the transformer is going to be connected to pin 1, which is also going to be connected to the input plug, and the other side of the relay is going to be connected to the output plug, as the relay will be turning that on and off. Now. You can go ahead and take your um, positive and negative 5 volts and you can take the positive wire and plug it into the V in on your Arduino there. And then the negative you can just simply connect to the negative on the relay as this is the ground post. Here's a final look with the transformer connected to the Arduino and the ground post.
So let's go ahead and um, begin to write our code. So the first thing we need to do is initialize our, our variables. We're going to use two. Um, the first variable is going to be the pin for the relay, or pin 8, or whatever pin you plugged your um, relay into on the Arduino. And then the second one, um, so there's the, the relay. The second uh, variable is going to be a string, and this is just going to be what the Bluetooth uh, reads off the serial. So we're going to set it to negative 1, or basically nothing, um, just as like the, its, its default uh, mode. So now let's go ahead and move into the setup. So we're going to do a couple things here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our um, relay. We're going to set it up as an output, meaning we can output um, a, a state to that uh, pin. So then I'm going to go ahead and um, also set pin 13 to an output and go ahead and write that to low. That's the onboard LED on the Arduino. I just don't want mine on. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. And then finally we're going to set the default state of the relay to high. So right when you plug, turn on the smart outlet or right when it's plugged into the wall, it's automatically um, going to power on whatever device is plugged into it. And you can change that if you want. And then finally, we need to begin listening on the serial monitor. And we're going to be doing it at a baud rate of 9600. So that's the setup. Let's go ahead and move down to our main loop. So the first thing we're going to do is read from the serial monitor. And we're going to do this by setting input to whatever it reads. And um, I have mine set up to where I'm going to have where anytime the Bluetooth or serial monitor receives an on or off, it will turn on or off the relay. And I'll just be doing this with strings. You can also do this with uh, uh, integer. Um, you don't have to be. You don't have to use the read string uh, function here. But um, so now that we read it, I'm just going to add in an if loop. And the if is just going to say to the two ifs I'm going to add in. The first one's going to say if the input from the serial monitor or the Bluetooth receives an on, then it's going to go ahead and print out to the serial monitor. This isn't necessary, but useful for debugging. Um, it's going to go ahead and print out that the outlet's turned on. It's going to go ahead and reset the input variable string to its default state, negative 1, and it's going to set the relay to high, or it's going to turn the relay on. So then, if the input received though was an off, then it's going to print that shutting the outlet off. It's going to reset the input variable to its default state, and then it's going to write the relay to low or shut the relay off. And then finally we'll just add in a little bit of a delay so it's not trying to, it's, it's not um, getting bogged down by running this loop as, as fast as it can. And that's going to be it for the code. Here's a quick test you can do once it's programmed. Go ahead and power up your Arduino just with a plug and connect a voltmeter to the output of the um, relay. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off real quick um, as the programming starts with it on. Um, and the voltmeter should be on um, ohms. So I'm going to set it the off code here. And when I set it off, first you'll notice the relay, the light is no longer on. And the voltmeter shows infinite resistance, meaning it's open. So now, let me go ahead and send it the on code, and you'll see first the light turns on on the relay, and the resistance goes to zero, meaning the circuit is closed or it's a wire. This is a simple way to test everything. Before putting the whole thing back together, I went ahead and took some electrical tape and covered anything um, that might make unintentional contact with the other components. So here I am putting on a piece on the relay, and you can see all the other pieces covered. The last step is to cram everything on the inside. You can probably organize yours a little better than this. And then um, put the input plug into the hole here. Of course, you'll have to connect the wires 
um, after. Um, but that just pushes right in, and then I have the screw here that will go into the top. And then that screw will also help hold on the top of the box. Help hold the cover of the box on once it's pressed in. But there it is, and then uh, the output plug just needs to be pushed in the square there. And the final product, a Bluetooth controlled Arduino powered smart outlet in a 3D printed box. Now all of the files I use for this project I'm going to include in the description below. Also to control this um, the outlet you can go to the App Store and look up any um, serial Bluetooth monitor um, on the App Store will work. There's also one specifically for the Arduino. Or you can also create your own app um, and I actually did another project which I will also link in the description where I did create my own app and it can be programmed to turn the outlet on and off however you'd like. If you like this project, um, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and check out my channel for other how-to videos.